This video is on Screened Subnet. Screened Subnet or DMZ was developed to protect the organization's trusted local area network from untrusted traffic. This architecture uses a firewall or firewalls to separate a network into three different zones. First, we have the internet, the untrusted zone. Untrusted zone communicates with a lot of business servers like domain name systems or email servers. So the firewall has to be configured to let the external traffic in. Then we have local area network or organization's private network that we want to protect in the trusted zone. If this trusted zone is behind a single firewall, along with the external facing servers that communicate with internet a lot, then the attackers can simply pivot from the external facing servers and attack the trusted zone systems. Basically, the attacker already made it through the firewall. This is why an extra zone is created as a buffer called screen subnet or DMZ. The firewall policies will be different for screen subnets or DMZ compared to the trusted zones. You can use single firewall to separate the three zones, but it's recommended to have two firewalls and have DMZ or screen subnet in between the trusted and the untrusted zones. In zone-based firewalls, device interfaces are placed in trusted, untrusted, or screen subnet zones, and policies are applied to these zones. One of the biggest advantages of applying policies on zones rather than interfaces is that whenever new changes are required at the interface level, policies are applied automatically simply by removing or adding to an interface in a particular zone. 